Hi there guys and welcome back to Beyond the Start Button. Uh, today I'm back with our old pal the uh, R36 Ultra and I got a special video for you today because I've managed to get ArcOS running on this thing. Um, now it wasn't me that did the heavy lifting here. Um, the lovely people over at the Retro Handhelds community provided the um, modified ArcOS image and the modified DTB file that you need to put with the image. So if you guys want to try this out, uh, if you go over to the Retro Handhelds community and go into the other devices and clones section, then you should be able to search through. Um, that's on Discord, on the Retro Handhelds Discord. So you should be able to search through and find what you're looking for in there. Okay. Um, so without further ado, let's see ArcOS running on this thing. So I've got a freshly built memory card right here. Okay, and let's pop this card in here and boot up. And you can see R36 Ultra. Looks normal so far, but we will get an Arc OS load screen in a moment. Just give it some time. Here we go, we can see you. So you can see we've got ArcOS. Just setting itself up. Go and rebooting. Okay. Just wait for that to boot. Um, while that's booting, there we go. We got a lovely animation. And we have our OS. Go. So you can see there's there's nothing there's no games on here at the moment, but we have Arc OS up and running on here. If I come in here and let's see distro version, see it's the Arc OS GFAN mod. Okay. Um and Testing this a bit, I can confirm that Wi-Fi does work on ArcOS. The internal Wi-Fi does work on ArcOS. Um, I've tried it a bit with another card, not with, not with this card, but I tried it a bit with another card and it really was working quite nicely. Um, the one thing that isn't working at the moment is the RGB lights around the thumbsticks. That is not working at the moment. Um, if ArcOS end up supporting this fully, then it could well end up that we get the RGB lighting working. Um, but currently in this community mode, the RGB lighting does not work around the thumbsticks. But you can see here, pretty responsive. And actually the buttons are far more responsive than what they were under Emulek. Um, and what that could well be is that MULEC tends to use older driver sets um, which aren't necessarily as compatible with these handhelds as they should be which can leave some input issues um, generally they work all right but you you can find you get some missed inputs um, whereas you know updated custom firmware like arc os has newer system drivers on it and so you can see the button input feels much better and actually using this now feels so much better than what it did on any other like it's just so much more responsive you can see looking through that just so much more responsive there it's it's not missed a single input here so far it's much more responsive okay so that's it for today guys that's just a quick video just to show you 
ArcOS up and running on the um, R36 Ultra. Okay, um, like I said, um, this mod was, you know, or, or this this build of ArcOS, this model build of ArcOS was provided via the uh, lovely people over at the Retro Handhelds Discord community. If you're interested in this, head over there. There's there's files that you can download for the uh, image and the DTB, and you can have ArcOS up and running on. I would say your favorite handheld. I'm not sure whose favorite handheld this would be, but it's it's much better with ArcOS now. I do much more like how this feels under ArcOS. Okay, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out a lot. Um, and if you want to be notified every time that I release a video, make sure to hit the bell icon as well. Okay, catch you next time, guys.